Hello and welcome to another edition of Another Book Review. This week I'll be reviewing Joshua Ferris's novel, To Rise Again at a Decent Hour, talk a little bit about the author, go into what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, who I would recommend the book to, and I will final, finally finish it off by talking about what I'll be reading for next time. So Joshua Ferris is still probably best known for his debut novel, uh, and then we came to the end, which I read around the time that it came out, and I really enjoyed it. I usually will see him on a lot of lists for top authors under 40, uh, so he's probably best known for being a very talented, relatively young author. And so there's a, there are some similarities between that earlier book and this book. I don't believe I've read any of his other work. Uh, and this is the second book of his that, that, I've, that I've read. So this book, uh, To Rise Again at a Decent Hour, is written in the first person, and it follows a dentist, uh, Dr. Paul O'Rourke, dentist Paul O'Rourke, uh, who's a dentist in New York City, and he is on a quest for uh, meaning and purpose in his life, and the quest is kind of set off at the beginning of the novel. There is uh, someone or something who is creating uh, fake online accounts in his name, so fake Twitter accounts and face, fake, fake Facebook accounts claiming to be him, but it's not really him. And so that's the thread that kind of goes throughout the novel. I thought that was an interesting hook to get you going. And I also thought that the first person narrative allowed you to kind of see behind the curtain of the character. And so some things that I think would have came off as bizarre or just strange for the sake of being strange felt more real and believable because you saw this character's history and his thought process and things like that. I think the book is really funny in certain parts, similar to, uh, and then we came to the end. The situations are somewhat um, humorous situations, certainly, and sometimes it borders on wacky, and I'll talk a little bit about that on the con side, but they are funny situations, similar to, and then we came to the end, and I did find myself laughing at certain parts in the novel. I thought that the um, plot was... Uh, I was pleasantly surprised that the plot did not end where I thought it was going to end. It kind of had some of the tropes of being kind of a predictable um, novel, but it kind of turns at a certain point and the unexpected happens, which I did appreciate. Um, some of the things that I didn't care for as much, I thought that the plot, <clears throat> while the characters I thought were, were believable, the plot is a little bit... Um, not likely or improbable, and for such a novel that's grounded in a fairly realistic sit setting, I found that kind of difficult to, to, to believe. I thought that some of the side characters weren't as sketched out as I would have liked. There's one character in, in particular who's really just kind of there as a foil of sorts, and uh, I wish she had had a little bit more agency or really just not been there at all. I, kind of the point of that character was a little puzzling to me. I did like, and I forgot to add this to the, the pro side, he talks a lot about in the novel uh, technology and kind of the character's relationship, the kind of love-hate relationship he has with technology and how it kind of affects his day-to-day -day life and kind of the way that people's lives revolve around technology. I thought that was kind of, uh, he had a lot of things to say about that. I thought that that was one of the things that I took away from the novel that I've thought about since reading it. Um, so that is the novel. Uh, if you liked it and then we came to the end, I think you'll enjoy this as well. I don't think I enjoyed this quite as much as that. This book is more about faith and belief and how you come to, how you come to those things as you go through life, what influences your faith and your belief systems, and if they can change and if they should or should not change. Uh, so that's really the kind of the main themes of the novel. It's a little bit heavier, I think, and then we came to the end which was a little bit of a lighter novel. But if you did enjoy that previous novel, I do think you'll enjoy this one. And if you've never read Joshua Ferris before, I think this is an, a pretty good starting point. Like I said, I think I enjoyed the other novel a little bit more. I thought it was a little bit more uh, funny and a little bit more lighthearted where I thought this was a little bit more serious. But that's, that no that's the novel. Uh, next time I'll be re re reading The Come Down by Rebecca Frumkin. And until next time, please feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, 
And if you think I missed anything in this review or there's anything you thought that you'd like to add, please feel free to leave a comment below. So until next time, bye.